We go the direction we face. If you start designing something at the end of this direction, sure enough, you will start going the direction you face. And we face the direction we design. Direction determines destination. Destination is not determined by hope. It's not determined by wish. Destination is determined by direction. You cannot change destination overnight. But here's what you can change today and overnight. You can change direction. This is the time for you to wake up and realize that there's something that you need to be doing. But you don't need to be doing excuses. You don't need to be so complacent and lazy about what it is that you are consciously going through in your life and giving your life less than giving your life more. Why do you socialize yourself with excuses? Why do you socialize yourself with misery? Why do you socialize yourself with being complacent? What are you afraid of? Oh, I get it. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid to go back. No one said you had to go back. All you got to do is keep pushing forward. You may fall a few times. You may slip a few times. But that doesn't mean you quit. That doesn't mean you give up. That means you must find a way and you must make a way. And you got to continue to dig deeper than you've ever digged in your life. Enough is enough. Enough with the excuses. Enough for being complacent. Enough for giving up. You have control over your mind. You just have to assert it. You have to decide that you are going to be in control, that you are going to do what you want to do. Weakness doesn't get a vote. Laziness doesn't get a vote. Everyone wants some life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. No, you have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing sh but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do when you feel like doing, but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, F you, I'm gonna do that anyway, and does it. It's you, you've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. As you work to help other people to become successful, that feeds your success. But you know it's going to be hard but find out what will make it worth it for you. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. Most of us don't like to do those things that come easy to us. I've always loved to talk to people. I decided taking this advice to develop my skills as a speaker and my gift has developed and it developed and has taken me many places. You have something that you brought to the universe and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me if you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. I grant you that if you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself because part of beginning to get a larger vision of yourself, all of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. You have to have just one thing in mind, keeping on track, closing out all the noise and the clutter that gets in your way. You've got to identify your target, let nothing stand in your way. You've got to keep your eye on the target until you've released the arrow. Let nothing capture your attention unless it's in the best interest of your ambition. 
If you don't keep your mind on what you're doing, if you don't keep focused on the task at hand, it could slip right on by you. Wherever you are, be there. Whatever you're supposed to be doing for the moment, do it. You can't be thinking of everything you have to do at one time, all the time. You have to concentrate on just one thing at a time, one project, one job. You have to take it one task at a time and complete it. Do what you've set out to do. Keep your mind only on that one task. Why? If you don't, you won't accomplish anything. Concentration takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of discipline to demand privacy, to keep the do not disturb sign on your door while you're in the middle of an important job. It takes a lot of discipline not to answer the phone every time it rings at home. That's why they make voicemail and answering machines, so you don't have to answer the phone every time it rings. Your family will appreciate an uninterrupted dinner hour. Your night work will get done a whole lot faster. Concentrate on the work at hand and demand of yourself the discipline to stay focused. If you have a long list of things to get done within a day, do the toughest ones while your concentration is at its peak. When you're at work, be at work. When you're in a conference, be in that conference. When you're at your kid's school play or soccer game or dance recital, be there. Don't let your mind wander. Stay focused. Stay focused on the task at hand or the company you're with. Don't let your mind wander during conversations. You never know what important points you'll miss. Stay focused. Stay true to where you are and what you're doing. Use your discipline to keep your mind in line. When you recognize the need to concentrate more, when you recognize this need, and when you discipline yourself to stay focused, it will come easier and easier. Focused concentration can be learned. Focused concentration can become a habit. If you work on it a little every day, every day, every day, the easier it comes, the less energy you'll waste on making your mind mind you. Make your mind pay attention. Discipline yourself to be where you are. Work at work and play at play. Don't mix the two. Concentrate. Give your job the attention it deserves. Give your family the attention they deserve. Give your colleagues the attention they deserve. Wherever you are, be there. Concentrate. Pay attention to your motivations, be honest. Practice coming from a place of integrity and you will be victorious. Always do your best. There's no faster way to fall prey to outside input than when you're feeling insecure. And there's no better way to feel insecure than knowing you half ass something or don't really believe in what you're doing. No matter what it is, raising your prices or raising your children, if you do the absolute best you possibly can and come from a place of integrity, then you can be proud of yourself and not give a damn what anyone else thinks. Find a temporary role model, find a mentor or a hero or a role model. Get clear on why this person is impressive and inspiring to you. And when faced with a challenge that leaves you guessing how to react, ask yourself, what would my hero do? Not caring what others think is a muscle that can take some time to build up. So use this trick while you're still getting strong. And before you know it, you'll be able to ditch your hero and start asking yourself, what would I do? Take the first right step instead of wasting hours and days and years trying to figure out your perfect next move. Just do something already. All the time we waste rolling ideas around in our heads, imagining what if coming up with perfect reasons why and then perfect reasons why not. Tearing at our cuticles, making our friends and family carefully screen their calls in case it's us again. Wanting to go over some idea. Get out of your head and take action. You don't have to know exactly where it's going to take you. You just need to start with one thing that feels right and keep following right, feeling things and see where they lead. Most answers reveal themselves through doing not thinking,